Hello everybody! In this video, I'm going to tell you how to organize a video conference with a free tool – Google Meet. Recently, Google made this video conferencing service free for all users. As we know, previously Google Meet was only available to subscribers of G Suite Enterprise. But now it is free for anyone so that people can keep in touch in these troubled times. To start using it, you need to have a Google account and you'll be able to join video meetings. Google developers say they are going to limit the time of such meetings to 60 minutes, but by now you can have them as long as you like. Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you'll be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog, you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. So, let's have a closer look at Google Meet. As I said before, you need a Google account to use the service. On computers, it runs in a browser. Google Meet is fully supported by Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Edge, and Safari. On the other hand, Internet Explorer supports only some features. If you use a smartphone or tablet PC for video conferences, this tool can be downloaded from Google Play. I will leave the link in the description under the video. Before you start working, let Google Meet access your camera and microphone. Open the main page of the service and click to allow it. If there is no access request or you have blocked it before, click on the icon saying that the camera is blocked and choose the option to always let the service access the camera and microphone. After that, you will join the video conference automatically. If the settings have not been updated, rejoin the meeting or restart your browser and join the meeting again. To start a video meeting, click Start a meeting or enter a meeting code if you need to join a meeting which is already in progress. Also, you can schedule a future meeting in Google Calendar. Add a name, set the date and configure additional settings, location, add guests, set up notifications and add a description. When you create a meeting with Google Calendar, you can attach files so that other participants can view the materials before you meet. When you start a meeting, click Join Now. The Add Other window will appear. In order to add more participants, click Add People and select someone from your contact list. or specify an email address, and then click to send an invitation. Otherwise, click Copy Join Info and send the invitation in any other way you prefer, for example, in a messenger. There are several ways to join a meeting. You can open a scheduled event in the calendar and join it. In the main window of the service, select the meeting from the list and click to get connected. Or enter the meeting code or name. You can see the meeting code at the end of the invitation link. Hyphens can be omitted. Also, you can join a meeting by following an invitation link. Click on the meeting link you received in a message or by email and follow directions on the screen. If you don't have a Google account, one of the meeting participants will have to approve your request to join it. In the meeting window, you can always turn your camera and microphone on or off, leave the meeting or share your screen. The last feature lets you share your entire screen, a window or a browser tab. If you need a link or code for invitation, click on Meeting Details.
At the top of the screen, you can find the list of guests where you can add more people. There is also a chat to exchange text messages. By clicking the three dots button, you can rearrange the tiles on the screen. Turn on captions and full screen mode. In the settings, you have options to check and configure the audio and video equipment you are using. Google Meet can also be used on mobile devices with Android and iOS. Just download and install a corresponding application from Google Play. Such application offers the same functionality as you get in a browser from the desktop computer. Start a meeting or enter a code for the meeting which is in progress. Turn the camera and microphone on or off, share a screen, view the list of participants or chat with them, and share a link to the meeting if necessary. With this service, you can easily organize a video conference for your team or arrange a remote video class. Just schedule the meeting and send a link to every participant. This service works both on computers and mobile devices, has a simple interface, and convenient options to manage the list of people involved. With its integrated protection features, Google will ensure privacy and security of your data. During the meeting, all transmitted data is encrypted, and the default set of protection features makes all your conferences safe and private. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell button to receive notifications and never miss new videos. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.